Welcome to Secrets to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. This forecast is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and on the cusp. Please be mindful to give likes, shares, comments, and to subscribe to the temple as this supports the temple as well as honors the efforts of the producer. Now let's prepare for your working money messages from Source for the week of October the 11th until October 17th. I pray it is beneficial and please stay awake. Okay, awesome. All right, how are you, sun bows and sun bows? Um, welcome back to the temple. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I know um, you realized that um, I wasn't here last week. I lost my mom. And um, like anybody else, the, the, I just need time. I still need time. I'm grieving really bad, but the work keeps me busy. So when I first started recording, I kind of lashed out thinking that, you know, my subscribers didn't even reach out to me when I lost my mom. But then I had an afterthought. And said, they don't know that you lost your mom. They don't know that she was in the hospital. So, not only that, but I had a friend that I thought I had reached out to. I swore I had a whole conversation with her. She said, Spirit, you did not call me and tell me your mother had passed. And that, she passed that Saturday. This was on a Wednesday. Was it a Wednesday? No, that was that Monday. Because I was, we had went to the funeral home. And I was thinking in my head I had to get her the, the information. I really thought I had spoke to her. I mean, this loss has been so devastating to me. I, I, I'm about to cry now, you know, but I'm holding up because I've done so much crying. I don't even know how I'll produce tears right now, you know. So keep me and my sister and my brother in your prayers. We really had it hard. We didn't really get to share our life with our mom. I got to share a lot more with her than they did. But it has been a really rough loss on us. Um, you know, and then to not have anything to show for it. it it's, it, I don't know, I don't know. You know, and I'm not talking about material things. Even though that could be part of it, some sentiment that says that your mama loved you. And it's, we feel so robbed in the whole course of it, you know, but it is what it is. So you have ground stars, ground stars. Get that there. I don't know how it's gonna fit yet. Ground stars. Maybe you're gonna be grounding people that shine bright, you know. Ground stars. Ground the stars. And maybe you're gonna be doing something that you know, like, when you, people, when you're being grounded, you're being taught, disciplined. Now, let's just talk about a burial ground here of celebrities and stars and whatnot. I don't know. Let's see what comes out of it. I hope you can see you well enough to focus on it as we um, get into your messages, all right? So, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what what's going down this week. Overall, it's the Three of Cups. All right, now. And that is based on the devil. You can expect the Three of Wands. Stemming from the Seven of Cups. All right. Outcome is the sword. Conflict and a challenge and supportive energies. We'll get to. Ooh. 
Underline the energy. Okay. I don't know if she wanted me to see this or not, but you have the King of Swords with the Three of Swords. So, you know, sometimes it's pressure to transform anything. You know, like rearing a child. You're transforming a child. You know, you, you're getting it to um, develop its own independence, right? That's the real pressure. You really, when you're training a child, you're really grounding the child for independence, right? Independent thinking, independent mobility, um, whatever. Independent action, whatever. To, to act on its own, but to act with dignity and in knowledge and sometimes even as a force so um this is a, a transformer they speak and write and lecture in ways that make you that leave you in awe sometimes Now, this may be based on that she showed me this horse. This could be your deepest sympathies. Um, this could also be a surgeon talking about heart issues. All right. So this could be dealing with heart, your health, heart health, cardiovascular issues, your pulse, your blood. This could be the surgeon. For some of you, remember, these are unified readings so you have to figure out where you resonate but this looks like some type of love message though that, that pierces your heart that touches your heart deepest sympathy that's what I keep hearing okay and the overall um, energy for you this week is the three of cups and then sometimes this is a celebration sometimes this is a getting together chilling out with your friends your, your sisters you know um your girlfriend your friend girls whatever whatever you want to call it and sometimes this is partnering up partnering up the, on a money project you know this could be a fish fry i'm hearing you know, a house party. Let's get together, have a little house party. You know, let's get together and find out some ways to do a fundraiser. It could be a lot of ways. They're raising um, their cups up in celebration for um, for some of this could be for pregnancy. It's based on the devil. Now, for some, this is a commitment, you know. It could be based on how to put something together. It could be two people together. You know, this could be somebody trying to set you up on a blind date. <laughs> All right. I'm also hearing having to make a choice. Is you going to go with this or are you going to go with that? Okay. Or some of you going to be celebrating base. This is a person. This is a person. Who had to make a decision about you? They had to. They had to make that decision. They had to commit to it. You know, or once it's made, it's you, you can't. It's no turning back. Okay, you committed to it. It's sealed. Okay, that's what's going on. It's stemming from some options. You know, material options, goodies. You know, what kind of goodies you kicking it? So this could be going to the store, goodies, drinks, whatever you do to chill. That could be it. Okay. For some of you, this, <laughs> these are like... 
mates, like people have options, who they can be with. You know, you have some options. You know, some people can go in their little black book and their little black cell phone and scroll through and say, well, let me see what she doing. Or, you know, let me see what he doing. Okay. So you're going to be kicking it. That's what's on your mind. Because uh, this is also a decision. Maybe you overbooked. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you got confused which one you're going to go with now. See, because you do have options. Okay. Maybe you forgot. Like, oh, damn, I forgot. God, I ain't told for something they can come over here. <laughs> this is just not being sure what this based on not being sure what to do at the in the moment, at the time. Okay. But you know you gotta do something. Somebody had to make a decision, either you did or they did. Alright. I think this could be any 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 sign. Let's see what the reason is for these um, options, these seven of cups and the devil, okay? Seven of cups and the love. This could be these delights, okay? Things we like to chill on. So, let's see what's going on. What's the reason? Here's source for the seven of cups based on the devil when it comes to the sun bows. What's going on with them? I hope you all can hear me okay. <laughs> What's going on with them? Oh, the Seven of Swords is the reason. And you know, yes, they don't know who to get back to. They're not sure how to get back to you. They don't know how to get in touch with you. They don't know what to say. They're trying to leave a discreet message or one that's kind of sly, like, I don't want to make it look like this type message, okay? A text message, a DM, okay? And it's uh, based on the underlying energy is the page of wands and it's in reverse, okay? Now, for some of you, this um, is based on um, an attraction that they're willing to kind of go go through the trouble. They want to go through some trouble. Oh, it's in trouble. The connection is in trouble. And a little heat and a little fire. Well, this person's just in heat. And you who they want. <laughs> Remember, it's a choice. The person said, you in heat. You the choice. And they don't, maybe, I don't know, they don't know how to get the message across to you without seeming like they desperate or it's you, you know, it's like you desperate or you just want to be discreet for some reason, you know. Based on having to make a decision about your options, your delectables. Things that make you feel good, your desserts, you know, your chill, whatever it is. All right. What can you expect to be waiting on? <laughs> okay, to be waiting on. Seeing if they're going to show up. It's based on this devil. Because this is being a little, you know, a little conflicted. So you're feeling a little conflicted about having to make this decision. I don't know if it's about having to contact this person or having to make the decision, these choices. Or this could be just based on your personal need, you know. What you need is sex. You know, drugs, alcohol, food. Um, I don't know. Whatever makes you feel good. Because the devil is about emotional satisfaction. Okay, it's all about the emotion. How you feel. And the outcome is the sword. So, 
um, this is known. Knowing the truth. I don't know what why it's 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 coming out like this, but the outcomes you're gonna know some truth. I don't know if, if this person shows up or not, what you're looking for, but the outcome is knowing the truth based on this um person or based on some choice you have to make. Some commitment you have got to make a commitment to something. Either you is or you ain't, or you will or you won't, or you're gonna go to the left or the right, or I don't know. But you gotta decide. For some of you, this is again just tell me like it is. But you're definitely going to know something. I'm going to know something in the end. The conflict is the eight of swords. <sighs> the conflict is the eight of swords. Some of you is how to get out of a situation. Or how to get into a situation. <laughs> Some of you how to get there. You know, or how to get away. Finding the place, finding the person, it's a conflict. Some of you is having to stay tied or bound or to remain restricted where you are until you can figure something out. It's a conflict. Like you can't move until you can make that decision. You can't move until you can figure out where you're going. You can't move, you know, until you, until you know, basically. And I don't know what it is that you need to know based on this devil, based on this commitment. But I see you definitely in expectation for somebody or something to show up. It's stemming from, you have a lot of options here, but for whatever reason... This one will do. This one is the one you want. This, this, this one is the one you want as opposed to the choices that you have already. It's somebody that you particularly want, but you don't have to go to them. That's who you want for whatever reason. And since the devil is there, I do believe sex may be one of the reasons. See this? Kicking in. That's what that is. That's kicking. That's 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 sex and kicking and having a good time. That's romance right there. That's romance. But um, how? How? I don't know. Maybe they need to figure out where you at. How they're going to get to you is the conflict. You know. I'm also hearing trying to figure you out is a conflict. But this could be like questioning yourself, like, you know, like, before I do all, let me figure out why am I doing this shit <laughs> for somebody. Why am I doing this shit? I need to think about this shit. Okay. Yeah. You know, because it looks good. Put them wings on the back. It looks good. I don't know. But what's going to help you? Because you got to make a grounded decision. Okay. The stars could be the time of day. I don't know. Ace of Cups. Mmm. You know... Your emotion is funny when I, that thought came to my mind. The, the fan came on. Emotional feelings. Seeing how you feel. You know. Saying all the right things. That gets this person's 
a drilling in Russian and heart palpations and and uh, I'm hearing consolence as well, comfort. Some of you just need to take a shower, a cold shower, as they used to say. <laughs> Some of you, this is a drink, having drinks. That's what that will help you. But this is an emotional expression. This is sharing your emotional expression. This is... This could be like love, sharing your heart feelings. Didn't I say that? That's what's going to help, sharing your heart feelings, some of you. Being very open and receptive is going to be helpful and supportive. And I'm also hearing spring, but I don't know what spring it is. I don't know if it's springtime, which I wouldn't know why, but you would if it resonates. Like a water spring, I don't know if you live by a water spring, if you need to um, go there and chat. I don't know. I don't know why she fell out. Let's see what your um, oracle message is. I I'm, I'm not getting much of anything else out of that right now. But I am definitely seeing, you know, some of you having a drink, sharing a drink, being open and receptive to that. But, you know, that's the, that's the serum, the true serum. Damn, that's going to be the true serum. Having a drink and having that talk and opening your heart. Seeing what's, seeing what's in your heart. Speaking your heart. Speaking your mind. Because it, 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 with, with him there, it's definitely going to transform the thinking of whomever you're talking to. Okay? It, it it's definitely won't be denied. It's definitely going to be, it's definitely the truth. It definitely has to be accepted. Okay, so what is this oracle message we have for our sun bowls? You have the egg. Wow. Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> it's funny, I'm singing this song. Brain, broom, brown, a brother. So we think it. Thinking how to keep some things swept under the rug, maybe the broom about the brown brother, a brown brother. <laughs> so the egg. So for me, the egg can mean like life, birth, a child. Um, Could it be protein? You got, oh, I said, I said protein. Here's the empress. Oh, that could be straight birth, health, essentials, essential health. Will of fortune. I'm aligning energy to your, um, your um, oracle message. Fate. Fate has it. Uh huh. Let's see what you're um, telling me so we can dismiss the temple. Don't forget to give us some thumbs, likes, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right. What is? Oh, I think that's.
sick. Ooh, you have the lion this week as your totem. Okay, so we know the lion represents leadership, being fierce. The lion represents fame and shine, royalty. Wow. And you can look some of those things up yourself. And on that note, I will leave it here. Some bowls and some bowls until next week. Remember to walk by faith and by sight. I can't wait to bring you another one. Peace and one love.